Well, hello everybody, and welcome to this Fallout 76 video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a place where you can farm bobby pins. Uh, as you know, bobby pins are... They add up after a while, but if you go into a farming situation where you're continually opening uh, safes, like I am at the Pleasant Hill Cemetery here, as you can see my camp's right here next to it, uh, you run out of bobby pins fairly quickly because they're all level 3 safes and you usually break one every time you open the safe. So, I have found this little area and it's up near uh, Vault 76. It's not very far. Vault 76 is right here and it's called the Isolated Cabin. And if you go to this cabin, there will be some dogs around, mongrels, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're always here. Sometimes they're dead, sometimes they're alive. Uh, but they're generally always here, one way or the other. And there's four or five of them. But when you get here, you come in to the front porch, and this suitcase on the bed right here, there is always two bobby pins in here. Now, as you'll see, I'll go ahead and log out and do what they call server hop. As soon as I get away from these dogs, do a server hop, and when I come back, we'll be there again. Oh, also, if you are short on food, you have all this mongrel dog meat, and there's a cooking station right over here. You can put them right in there and uh, make your, your mutt chops. Alright, so we're going to log out. They call a server hop. All right, and go right back in. Well, I said right back in, but it seems the internet's running a little slow at my house today. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. <laughs> right, so here we go. Going back up to the cabin. Again, there's your two bobby pins. Now, it might be a little grindy if you're trying to get a lot of bobby pins, but if you're only trying to get like 10 or 12, you only got to do it a few times, and then you'll have your 10 or 12 bobby pins. But uh, I go through about 40 bobby pins every couple of hours because uh, I'm constantly farming these chests, or these, I keep calling them chests, they're safes down here. So I'll jump back to my camp and show you what I'm talking about. There's three safes in this cemetery that are exposed, and they all three have level three locks on. And finding the sweet spot on a level three lock, even if you have a comic book going and you have a bobblehead going, it's still you still end up breaking lock picks more often than you'll get a safe open without one. And uh, so I go through them pretty quick. So. But in these three safes down here are some of the high level plans that you'll need for weapons like the Gauss rifle, the uh, M40, M79 grenade launcher, the minigun, the 
death claw gauntlet things of that nature they're they're down here in these uh, safes <clears throat> the trick is when you open it up if it doesn't have what you want in it you don't take anything out of the safe because if you take anything out of the safe when you come back to it the next time it'll be empty so you wait until you find what you're looking for and then empty the whole safe um, there's usually either bugs rats or ghouls around here so I have a couple of tools set up for depending upon what's down here there's the first safe as you can see it's level three and oh, it's rats this time safe number two also uh, on top of this safe on top of this box if you look up here sometimes there's a, a magazine comic whatever you want to call it up there that you can collect and the third one is all the way down here on top of this hill and I don't know about everybody else but for me I have to like um, crouch to get this one like I said, all three of them are level three. Currently, for me, they're all empty. So I'm not going to bother breaking lockpicks trying to open them and show you an empty, empty safe. But that's my video for today. Uh, please hit the like button if, if this was useful. Uh, subscribe if you want to. I'm going to start putting videos out more often. And uh, thanks again. Have a good day.